haven't done any of these videos in a while, but um, it's a rainy day here. Just driving up to the lake to do some maintenance on some of the boats. We don't have any bookings for today. Um, I just kind of thought of a decent topic on how to handle like rainy days or weather days. We've had a lot of those this season, um, starting right from when we opened Memorial Day until now. Um, it's been one of the top like five rainiest summers on record here. And um, you know, the weather forecast is wrong a lot and stuff like that. So I was just gonna talk a little bit about how we handle it. Every part of the country is different and uh, you know, everyone has different weathers and weather and expectations and all that. So basically our cancellation policy is that you need to let us know within 48 hours of your appointment if you're going to cancel for any reason. So if you're past 48 hours, basically you can cancel for any reason you want to. Um, usually people are pretty good about that. Um, there's not a lot of problems there. So then people are on the phone. Usually they the question comes up, so what if it rains? And I'm not sure if we have this on our website or not, but basically what we say, how we do it is Listen, we don't like to make weather calls until the night before because a lot of times the weather changes the morning of. People look at like Apple weather, which is not really accurate. Um, and, you know, if it looks like it's gonna be a total washout, maybe we'll call it the night before, but usually we don't like to call it until the day of. You know, we're planning on boats going out is what we like to say. If it just looks like, um, a lot of times it'll say a chance of scattered thunderstorms, but what that really means is that there's a chance of a storm. So it might rain a half hour to an hour out of a 10 hour day. Usually sometimes between the hours of two and 5 p.m. Just for around here, that's kind of how it works a lot of the times. Um, so people are usually pretty good about that. And then we'll say, listen, if it's gonna rain at the time of your reservation, you know, you're about to get in the car, it's pouring here, whatever, we can cancel and rebook you for another day. Um, so that's kind of been the best strategy we've had um, just to try and keep as many appointments on the calendar as we can. One issue we've run into a little bit is sometimes people would book multiple appointments because of weather and then cancel them right at that 48 hours out, which can make it a little tough to rebook if they had a, a three hour booking on the calendar for a month. That boat's tied up, tied up, and then at the last minute they back out. So that was one issue we had a little bit, especially in the beginning of the season, which um, hasn't been so much of an issue later on. Um, I also think that as the season has gone on and there's less time, um, so we run Memorial Day to Labor Day, basically is our real season and then like right now it's, you know, we're past Labor Day, we'll do some weekends and stuff like that, get whatever we can in. But um, as it's gotten later in the season and kids are closer to going back to school and stuff, I feel like people do feel that pressure to actually follow through on their appointments. Versus in June, it's kind of like, yeah, it might rain, there's still a lot of availability, we wanna, you know, push out. So that's one trend I've noticed a little bit, but Basically, I guess the overall take on weather, what we do is we try and tell people um, that we're gonna make the decision the day of, and um, you know, that's the way it is. It goes, you know, it is case by case sometimes, you know, you'll have people that say, yeah, I'm coming from, you know, two, two and a half hours away, um, and we're supposed to come out for three hours. It's looking shitty, we don't wanna come. And someone like that, I tend to be more flexible and understanding versus maybe there's someone a half hour away um, just there on vacation for the, the weekend. And someone like that, we're gonna kinda, you know, really really try and make it happen. Um, so I'd say it's, it's good to have a policy, which, you know, we do, but I still need to brush up on that over the winter to talk more about weather in particular. Um, so have a policy, but at the end of the day, you know, it's kind of a case by case thing and you wanna, keep people relatively happy, um, you know, still staying, you know, firm, firm enough um, where you're not getting walked all over, but also having that flexibility and realizing, you know, someone's not going to want to hop in the car two hours 
to go spend a good amount of money where it might be raining and their kids are going to have a bad time. So you kind of have to use your best judgment, but um, that's kind of how we've been doing it. And some things I want to improve on, like I said, are um, having a more clear weather policy and procedures um, that's kind of written down on the website. You know, if it's if the forecast is above 70, we fully intend on going out. If it says chance of scattered thunderstorms, which it often does, we like to still plan on going out. Stuff like that. So, um, you know, maybe people could look at the weather and really have a better understanding of what's going on. So that's kind of my two cents on the weather topic. We've been dealing with it a lot this year, um, and hopefully that might help bring you some value. All right.